Right, Ian. So we were looking at the um, C major or A natural minor scale there. So just a quick little up, um, put together on the chords as well. We'll go from A minor up through the scale, so just through all the chords that are available in that, in that key, or all the chords that are within the key anyway. That doesn't mean you can't go outside that, but these are the ones that kind of um, work naturally, so to speak. So you've got A minor. Now the next chord up from that is a B diminished chord, which looks like this. Now, uh, so that's first finger, second fret on the A string, middle finger, a fret up from that on the next string, third finger, same fret, as the middle finger on the B string, and then little finger going in, um, fourth fret on the G string, okay? Now, the problem is the diminished chord has a very serious kind of tone to it, so what's a better substitute for that if you want something a bit more normal sounding is A minor, G with B in the bass. So it's it's literally just G without, with, with the uh, six string block, so it starts on that B note there. Next chord is C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, and then we're back to A minor again. So seven chords in total. The scale then, uh, if we start it down here, generally you would start it either on the root note of the A minor or the C, depending on you know if it's based on C or A minor. But you can also go as far as back as here as well as as far back as here. So open E. First fret, third fret on the sixth string, and then from there, open two, three, open two, three, just two on the G string, open one, three on the B, open one, three on the E, and then you can fire it up to the fifth fret if you want to kind of complete it up to the um, A. Okay, so a couple of things in that. First of all, there's the uh, come, come up and see me thing, um, the, the kind of little run up in the intro. So it's simple enough to start off with, just make sure you're using down up picking to get the, the speed into it, right? So we're starting, we go up the scale starting from the G, so. Then by the time we get up to that C note, let it go back to the B and open G. So that's. Then we've got from the second fret on the G up the scale back to the open B and then finally second fret on the G to the open B. Literally just that. So all in all in total, I'll just do it slowly. And then off you go. Another little one uh, that, that that's a good example of kind of going straight up or down that scale is Wild World. So you've got the C there. So what's happening there is we're starting on the C and just going straight down the scale. And then, so he's going from kind of from C, from C to C. Straight down the scale, no notes skipped, and then as soon as you get to the C, G. Okay. Now, uh, on top of that, we did a couple of um, sort of phrases to get going on it as well. So, for example, um, uh, we tried... Now, you can sort of uh, leave that at the... Uh, a sus2 that I have there, which is basically just an A minor with the open B string. So it's not really minor, minor or major anymore, so. Or you can just put on the, uh, the, A, the A minor. So that's pull off on the third fret, the E string to the open, pull off on the first fret on the second string to the open. Don't worry about it if you hit the other one off um, by accident, because all those open notes are within the key anyway, so that's kind of the whole point of this scale, is just using those open strings, and we'll end up on the second fret of the G string. A nice little uh, lead in to an F chord. So that's open D, hammer on to the second and then third, open G, hammer on just to the second, open B, hammer on to the first, and then by the time you've done all that, you've already got the F major 7 shape there. 
and preferably those should all be kind of all those notes should be going out at the same so it shouldn't sound like this you know what I mean not that there's anything wrong with that but ideally it should be a bit more flowy than that so they all kind of end up ringing out together by the end okay and then finally let's just do one more so So we've got to pull off from the first fret on the B, B string, coming back up with the pick, second fret on the G, back down to the open B, back to the G string on the second fret, pull that off, go to the second fret on the D string, and then throw in the rest of the A minor chord. So just that slowly a couple more times. to a C from that. Or maybe an E minor. You know, so you can kind of just lead into chords with those little phrases like that. Even if it's something simple as... So that's just a pick, hammer, pull, second fret of the G into an A minor little just short little phrases like that and once you know the scale inside out and you know it you know so that you can run up and down without thinking too much about it you can sort of just just mess about with it and see what happens and eventually like I was saying I like free when I'm using this scale I like phrases that start off with that kind of double pull off like that. It's just something that I happen to like that sort of just suits me. When the more you, and I found it just by messing around with the scale, you know what I mean? So if you just kind of mess about with that scale, plenty of pull offs, hammer ons, slides, etc., you'll find these little phrases that just kind of work, that just lead into what, whatever you're doing naturally. So, so see how you get on with it anyway. But the main thing is just to play the shite out of the scale and um, just see what happens from there. All right, have a good one. I'll see you in a while.